Number 13 then from the 2017 Advanced Higher Maths. Here we go, four marks for a proof question. An indirect proof question. It says, using proof by contrapositive, show that this statement is true. Well, the contrapositive is logically equivalent to the original statement. So if you can prove the contrapositive, you've proven the original statement. You form the contrapositive by taking these two parts of the if-then statement, forming the negation of them, and stating it in reverse order. So starting with this side, I would say, contrapositive, if, negation of this, n is even, no it's not, n is not even, n is odd. Then, negation of this, n squared is even, no it's not, n squared is not even, n squared is odd. That's the contrapositive statement, and writing that down gets you the first mark. Now you've just got to prove this instead of that. So you're starting with this, n is odd. Well, if n is odd, that means n can be written as two times some number plus or minus one, go for plus one, where that k is itself an integer. Just doing that gets the second one. You have to add this bit on, of course. You couldn't have k been any number, like a half, for instance, because then it wouldn't be odd. Now just manipulate this to find n squared. So that means that n squared would be 2k plus 1 squared. So expanding that, 4k squared plus twice the product, 4k, square the last, plus 1. Now you don't need to take out the common factor of 4. In fact, it's better not to. If you want to show you've got an odd number, you really want it to be a multiple of 2 plus 1. So I'll just take out 2. 2 times 2k squared plus 2k plus 1. Which means n squared is odd. As 2k squared plus 2k is still an integer. Of course, if that expression there wasn't an integer, that's not necessarily an odd number. That should really be included with it. They haven't mentioned that in the marking scheme, but it should really be there. There's the next mark. Now you just state what you've done. You've proven the contrapositive statement, so that means the original statement is true. So you just have to write all that down. The contrapositive statement is true, therefore the original statement is true. There we go. Last mark.